Hello and welcome to the Yogscast guide on how to kill Meloriac in Blackwing Descent Raid. Thank you. An important part of this fight is interrupting the boss. So first, ensure that you've got a casting speed slow debuff on him. You need to assign a specific interrupter to interrupt every single arcane storm that he casts. Shortly after the fight starts, Meloriac will throw a vial into the cauldron and begin one of his vial phases. It will either be red, blue, green or blue, red, green. Here he throws a red vial in and in this phase you simply have to stand in a line in front of him so you can soak uh, the damage from his flamethrower. Certain people in the raid will get a debuff called Consuming Flames. They need to run out and get healed. However, the most important thing about this fight is staggering his casts of Release Aberrations. This is where he spawns three adds at the front of the room. You need to make sure that before each green phase there are nine adds up. This means that you have to let three casts through. He will cast two Release Aberrations every Vile phase. So the best thing to do is interrupt one in the first Vile phase and let them both through in the second Vile phase just before the green Vile phase. So here we've kept interrupting all of his Aberrations until the second one in the first phase. We've let that through and we're going to let through the two in the next phase as well. That makes three total. So now we're going into the blue vial phase. He's throwing a blue vial in. People need to spread out in this phase to avoid getting frozen. He will randomly pick people to Ice Tomb, which hits them for about 50k damage. You need to break them out of the Ice Tomb, and then they take another 50k damage when they're freed. So you definitely need to heal up the people who get Ice Tombed. The adds have a stacking debuff, which increases their damage based on how many there are. So if you have three, they're basically hitting for nothing. If, if you've got six, they're hitting fairly hard. And if you've got nine, they can very easily kill people very quickly. So as soon as the ads come out on nine, you need to get a ring of frost down, frost trap, and start kiting them before you hit the green phase and you AoE hard. During the green phase, everyone in the raid, including the boss and the ads, take 100% extra damage. So this is your signal to kill the ads quickly and then drag the boss back to the cauldron to await the next phase. During this phase, it is absolutely crucial that his release aberrations get interrupted as well as the arcane storms getting interrupted. So although you need to heavily AoE, you also need to ensure that the interrupts go off. Then it starts again with the, the phases again, blue, red or red, blue, depending on random. One of the aberrations actually did manage to get missed in the AoE, so we're actually going to single target this down at this point just because it doesn't have you know pals with it that cause it to have a high damage resistance so now he's going back into his vile phases and he's going to start off with blue this time which means we all need to spread out again to avoid the ice tombs we're only going to interrupt one of his release aberrations in this phase which means i'm going to pick up the three that spawn and I'm also going to make sure that I stay away from other raid members when I'm picking them up or kiting them around to make sure that they don't get ice tombed as well or I don't chain it. It's worth noting here that he casts a self buff on himself called Remedy that needs to be dispelled or spell stolen as it will heal him quite a lot. However, if your raid damage is very very high, uh, you will actually have some trouble here because you'll take him down too quickly. When he gets to 25% he will enter phase 3 and release any remaining adds including two big nasty ones. So you need to ensure that you get two green phases to give you plenty of time to kill two sets of nine adds. So now Malora has entered the red phase, we're going to let adds through from now on. I think we've actually messed up because I've got six on me, but six is okay. It's just nine when you start getting the problem. I'm probably going to use a cooldown to survive here, or maybe not, I'm just going to kite them around a little bit. So there we are, I've now got 9 on me again. I'm blowing shield wall to survive because 9 adds is quite a lot. And then here we go, another green phase where we AoE them down. So here, he's actually gone below 25% during the second green phase. A little bit too early, but it's not bad. Adds are dead, and these two adds have spawned. They're called Prime Subjects, they are a little bit buggy and at the moment they don't quite work. They're supposed to have a spell where they fixate on people for a specific amount of time, but it's very buggy. Sometimes we had one fixate on the healers and they just killed them and we couldn't do anything about it. Other times, blech. 
But the point is that this time it went okay, they both stayed on me, I off-tanked them, we killed the boss. In this final phase, there are several abilities that he does that you need to watch out for. He will kick out lava waves at people which knock anyone back, so you need to watch out to you know quickly heal the people that get hit, or try and sidestep out the way by step or stay just stay spread out around the room. The other thing that you can see is these ice um, sort of bombs that you don't want to get hit by, they will explode after a set amount of time. And there's also an AoE poison over which which hits quite hard, so you need a bit of AoE healing. Overall, as long as you handle the ads correctly, the fight isn't super hard. Um, heroism late. Pick up your perps. There you go. Word. I'm just trying to find some microphone effects to piss around so that I can try and sound like the boss. Alright, oh, okay. <laughs> Atromedes! Your master will kill you! <laughs> <laughs> That's quite good, actually. That's quite fucking it's creepy. Not, it's not quite right, is it? Mmm. Hmm. Your master beckons you. Oh my god, that is really weird. I don't. I don't think this is quite <laughs> quite right. Hello. Hello. Um. Atromedes, your master. <laughs> what the fuck? I took the DNA of a red dragon and the DNA of a yellow dragon and they made an orange dragon. <laughs> well done, Meloriac. I call it... I call it the Jaffa dragon. Oh, do you? Yes, it is the dragon of the Jaffa. I can hear my voice just echo throughout the entire fucking house. <laughs> uh. Jaffa dragon, <laughs> your master beckons.